Hi there, Xylotrupe Skideon, the famous Kwang beetle from northern Thailand. I have to uh, check whether there are eggs or larvae in the boxes. I have three boxes where I had uh, a pair of Gideon since um, 25th of February. Now today is the uh, 25th of June, that's four months ago. The female was removed 1st of April and I've, I've, I have seen some eggs already and uh, I wrote here that uh, well, I should check one first of August so but this is a, bit, a little bit uh, earlier let's have a look whether we see some larvae here or eggs and if we see some uh, we transfer them to a new box for breeding yeah here is a larvae a very small one yes so it seems that it's a it's an L1, yeah, it's an L1, so it seems they are not um, big yet, so it's a very, very small, huh? you see it in my fingers, I will put them in here, one, so let's check for others. Or if we see some eggs, yeah, if it would be a solo, a solo larvae, I don't see one. Do you see anything? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, here's the one. Yeah, yeah, this is typical. It's uh, it's already L2, and it ha is a hairy thing. If if I don't know whether we can see it now yet already, it uh, has a lot of hair. Uh, put it to this little box too here. Yeah, and uh, let's have a look whether there are some more around here. Yeah, it can't be that there are only two. Yeah, here's another one. So now they are too small to be uh, put in the really big container and there are only three, I don't know why there are only three here but I have other boxes to check through so let's have a look what happens in the other boxes. Here's another one. Now here I, I have written that I should check 1st of May, now this is a bit too late now and you see here a part of the dead, of the dead beetles, this is the female here, yeah, this is the head of a male, it's like a, after a car crash some <laughs> parts of the car are lying ar around and a lot of the larvae they start eating um, the carcasses of this uh, of this beetle oh, here's another one small one so I, I probably I have to put this back first so I don't squash the larvae if they are in any anymore here so I put it back and and of course now I will go through the substrate again in around two months so then they should be L3 if there's some left this one more so they are pretty hard to find here's another one I thought I should have seen there is another one Oh, they are all L1, so I have to pay attention that I don't squash them. Yes, another one. Yes, thank you. It's good if you have a lot of people help, helping to search for this lorry. Because they have this hair, 
some particles of the substrate stick to their body so they probably look more than a piece of dirt than a larvae that's why it's probably not very easy to see them so now we just the substrate is very fine it's perfect for egg laying it uh, it can be a little bit moist, but not dripping wet. That's perfect like this. So, now, next one. This is in two months, huh? Write it then. So, here you see, we are already also planting mangoes in our cellar. This is a mango seed. Pretty big now. And you already see here a larvae. This is a bigger one. But it's an it's an L two. So and now first I remove some of the bark that was on top of this of this box. Yeah, here it is. Now here you see these are Xylotrupes gider with a red red hair on the body. And here is another part of a of a beetle that has died in the substrate. Yeah, here's a lot of them. Look. And here, this is this is very interesting. It's the skin of the larvae, and the very very freshly hatched L3. You see, this is the L2 skin of the larvae and this is the freshly freshly hatched L3 larvae it's practically white hat capsule and normally if you find a larvae like this um, you have to put it apart because mostly after they have it closed or from the old skin they eat up the old skin uh, that's a uh, you, you know that chitin uh, is, is a protein, so if they eat it up, they can have some more food. So, now here we have about 12 or 7. Also, you see already in the substrate, you already see the pellets of the, of the animals. You see the, the size of the pellets, you can guess whether it's already an L3, this should be an L3 already from the big um, food pallet. And now let's have a look down there. So now I think now we will see some big ones here. Oh, look at that! It's completely filled with... Yeah, this is the L3 big one. One, two, three, four, five. So there's the Kwang beetle from Sumatra. This is not the it's not the species from subspecies from Thailand. It's from Sumatra. So we have a lot of them here and also there. Look at this. You can probably see that they are a little bit hairy if you go into the box and have a closer look at them. And the more I dig for them, the more they Fell out, fall out of the substrate. So look at that. It's all filled with larvae. And you see what else, what you see also that in the substrate they make some chambers where they sit. So they don't disturb each other. They sit in their own chamber and wait there until the, all the substrate is used up and then they move around and look for another um, place in the substrate. Yeah, here's another one. Uh, I think we, we will find some more here too. Now what I'm doing, these ones I can place in a bigger container now. I have prepared one here already. It's a 65 liter box where I can put all of these larvae in this box but I have to add some uh, white rotten wood. I put in this big piece here so they can nibble on that. I, I make some small white rotten wood pieces here 
on the pot so they can dig down and eat from that. It's from oak also. You see that here's a white rotten um, bark and the, 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 the wood from the inner part of the oak is very very hard. And if you see it here is a piece of wood that was uh, eaten already by um, Alumurina Tichotomo. It's another rhinoceros beetle. So they will step by step eat up the whole piece of wood that is in this box. And if they do so, now I put some of the original, original soil in there. If there are some more larvae in, that's fine. That's no problem. Yeah, you see there's another one here. So that can be down here. There's another one. And now we put the larvae back here in. And you will see within some minutes you don't see them anymore. They have dug down to the substrate. And then as soon as as soon as everybody has disappeared from the surface here. I bring the box to the cellar into a room where there is between 22 and 24 uh, degrees. This is another one, yeah, 24 degrees. And then I fill it up with the other subs with, with more substrate and with more pieces of wood so they can eat here until they are finished adults again in around four months. Thanks for watching.